So, I mean, Ghana immigration is not, it's not, it's not easy. A flower border. Yeah, it's not, it's not easy. Hey, my people. Not, my own people. They take the one. They say they, they show I'm shaking. The Bottleless Africa continues, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Um, so far, my best experience has been at the Beninua border crossing from Benin into Nigeria. And this footage you're looking at, it, it's really amazing. When we got to the Beninua border, it was in the night. So um, we did all the stamping, everything that we would do over there. And interestingly, they never took a dime from us, the immigration at the Husaway border never took a penny from us and at this point we didn't know where to go so the police uh, we went to the police station and this is the police car escorting us looking for an accommodation for us it is so inspiring and then after the next day we head on the road to get into the city because we were asked of the town which is uh, the target was Kotonou we were not in Kotonou so Right now we hit the road, um, getting into Kotonou. We came across a whole lot of interesting stuff, including this uh, monument you see over there. I love something. And then the first, the first impression closing into Kotonou is uh, um, you come, you meet a lot of bikers, like people, and almost all of them are in a helmet. That's a call riding behind us. And yeah. You are also uh, introduced to some really interesting, beautiful roads and all that. You, you have no option than to enjoy the scenes around and all that. Very, very excellent roads with a lot of street lights. A lot of them street lights. Uh, Kotonou, um, when you mention Benin, uh, Benin for me is, is a country that is not really much out there. You don't really hear a lot about them. It's a French-speaking country. It's a French colony, so I don't know if that is the reason. But for me, I don't really get to hear a lot of a lot about Benin. Uh, so getting in here, I was really impressed. The first time visiting Benin was in the year 2017. Showing up here, a lot has changed, and you can see they have a dedicated um, road for motorcycles down there. But you know, our motto is a power bike. Nigerians call it power bike. It is really huge, so we we cannot compete with the um, little bikes down there. So we had to use the main road, um, so that um, well, it's, it's for safety and all that uh, measures. And here we are really close in into the city, uh, Kotonou. I remember the first day we showed up here in the night. We came around here to come and get some um, food and all that. Yeah, so. Uh, um, it really gets beautiful closing in from here to a place called the Amazon. I remember we used this place to that place, which I'm going to show you very soon. But yes, um, you were introduced to some really greens. The, the trees around here makes this place really nice and riding around here uh, makes this place really nice. It reminds me of uh, Nigeria's Calabar. Oh dear, dear, dear. That is a city I would so much love to visit again. But now it's Kotonou, so here is a place where a lot of people sit to. I don't know what really happens around here, but you can see so many people are sitting around here taking in uh, fresh air and all that. And then a uh, traffic. Then you, you get introduced to another roundabout. Benin is a, is a country, uh, uh, Kotonou in particular is a country that has really really huge runabouts yeah they have really really huge runabouts so that was one and then you get introduced to greens the more this place is that uh, we are around the amazon area i think we had a bypass to the amazon here they they have this um garden over here and also the seat of government is around here yeah so this place is really pristine crystal clear environment you can see on the floor very flawless yes hardly will you notice some um, trash or anything around here this place is a gem like I'm saying that the, the first time I visited here was in 2017 and this place wasn't like this so coming around here are uh, amazing and then we found judges judges was a savior
He met us here in uh, Benin and he stopped. He said he's been following our trip from Nigeria. So what he does is that he's also traveling across the continent and he's reading books with kids. So he will get to every country, he will stop and try and gather children and read books with them. This is this ah this is so nice. Nice. Okay, what do you do? What do you do? I used to work in the uh, I mean at the Goethe Institute as the head of a library. Okay. So now I'm uh, you know I'm independent. I work as a freelancer. I do like a lot of like project management and I also have a farm. I'm just coming from a farm like this. Wow. So this is my, <laughs> my working material. Perfect. But yeah, let's go and then chat. Let's go. Yeah, he's going to take us to his house. Amazing. Okay. We go to his house. Okay. You know, we, we actually roaming looking for an accommodation that we met a guy. He said we should follow him to his house. We can go now. So now they give us an accommodation. That's that's so nice. So that is it. Um, we're riding to George's house, uh, called, uh, doing what he likes to do best, standing on the bike and moving, um, closing in, trying to be some traffic and all that. That's George's on his uh, Valadero uh, 125cc. It's not really a big um, um, capacity um, engine, but it is serving him really well. And uh, we cannot really be grateful to George's for the the accommodation and the hospitality he gave us. I'm going to share with you a lot of stories about judges in the subsequent videos. So, I mean, Ghana immigration is not, it's not, it's not easy. I'm but, from our border. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not. Hey, my people, <laughs> my own people. They take the one. They said they, they show I'm shaking. <laughs> When they, when you get it, they are flower water, they are uh -huh. for the... Of course. Oh, oh brothers! But, you know, this particular case, as we had a court, they understood what we were doing, what we were doing. So, for 30 years? Of course, you are. We explained everything. This guy is like, no, they don't feel bad. They took like 5k. For no reason. 5,000 saver. 5,000 saver. Uh. That's a lot of money. <laughs> so, these people... I mean, Abidjan was worse. To enter, uh, you know, to enter uh, Liberia, Danane people. Ah, another story. Danane, Danane. We are split tire. We are split tire. <laughs> Eventually, I think on the on the way to, they allow us, they allow us to go. But to come back, they say we allow you guys to go. Now you must pay something. We eventually pay just small uh, money. <laughs> I mean, I think we have, let's sit down and have a long conversation about this. So far, Benin has been the best. <laughs>